Hello and welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about um, why don't I eat a normal diet? And I'm going to answer that question. And uh, I had been approached and asked, why don't I eat a normal diet? It looks like that the extreme diet that I was on would probably was the reason that I'm having all of these uh, digestion uh, problems and health issues. And um, actually, that's not the case. Um, I have always had a problem with a normal diet. This is something that I have been dealing with ever since I was, I can remember. Um, back in college, uh, I tried to eat like everybody else did. I tried to live the normal diet. And um, I would always discover the same thing, that I needed vegetable juices, to, in order to stay healthy and I needed to eat uh, raw living foods and which is was not normal at all compared to what my friends were eating um, so that is the reason I fast on watermelon and I drink a lot of vegetable juices because every time I try to be normal and eat a normal diet, um, it seems to really have some negative effects on um, my digestive system. So, um, unfortunately, if you look at statistics and if you go to the doctor and you, if you ask them, if you go to the doctor for a health issue, it's actually normal to be unhealthy these days. So if you eat a normal diet, you're probably going to be normal like everybody else. And normal is sick. And that is exactly what you're going to get if you rely on a medical doctor to get you well for an ailment. Um, so that's why I don't eat a normal diet. And trust me, it's not that I don't want to. I've tried. It's, you know, it's not easy going to family get-togethers and picnics and everybody's just pigging out on all this stuff and I'm just kind of like bringing watermelon to the get-together and slicing it up or whatever, you know. And everybody's always like, well, what are you eating now? <laughs> it's, all, it's like, well, I'm doing a lot of juices and salads. But I want to say um, this, this uh, protocol, this regimen has been a lifesaver for me. This is probably one of the best uh, diet regimens that I've been able to follow that really works for me, except I do this as a one meal a day. I don't eat uh, through, throughout the day with this one. He does like a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I don't do that. I just do like a juices, and then I'll have my uh, fruit and then my salad. So that's how I'm incorporating this regimen for my healing process. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to massively heal uh, my body. So let's let me show you what kind of juice we're doing today. We've got some beet greens. We have some green kale there's um there's there's like let's see there's one two three four five really big leaves of this kale green and we have one two three four of the uh, uh kale green super green kale and there's a couple more leaves of the uh this the uh turnip uh leaves and then we have one whole cucumber that has been cut up we have 
a half of a lemon. We have about a big thumb or of ginger, maybe a little bit more. It's you you do whatever you want. And then we have one whole turnip, or not turnip, but beet. And guys, I'm getting to where I really like beets right now. I don't know what it is, but I'm just starting to see. It really helps with my per peristalsis. I did two beets and a juice, and I was amazed. And I'm not going to do that this time, uh, but I'm going to try to start incorporating beets in my juice. I just think they're very very nutritious and uh, it's just something that my body feels like it's lacking and, and I'm going to start putting them in my salads more um, but that being said guys uh, I've been feeling great I've been feeling amazing um, yesterday I went to a family picnic and I had half of a hamburger I had treat and I really I had not had any meat in a while and uh, when I got home, I had like really bad stomach cramps from that hamburger. And I don't know what caused it, but I had been really doing well with the meat. But the reason why I am, I've really just been feeling so much better um, on mostly raw and the juices right now and my eye has completely cleared up I was having some really serious chronic uh, inflammation in this eye and I had had a couple those of you who've been watching my videos um, when I started eating the animal products I, I got this weird eye problem and I was like okay this is weird and I got this sty and I was like, this is not normal, this is weird, and I never get styes. So, and then like another month later, I got another sty in my eye that just would not go away, and I was like, this is weird. And I was eating normal, okay? I was working out, trying to build my body, and um, I was getting some results muscle-wise, but, I was starting to get these weird symptoms and I was just like my body is not releasing stuff like it needs to be releasing it so that's why I've been on this uh, protocol where I'm trying to um, start to uh, uh, get I'm, I'm doing back to the regimen I was doing before which is the juices and guys the, the principles in this methodology okay is just this guy has healed this guy right here he has case after case of stories dr norman walker where these stories are are real life stories where he was able to see like major results um and as a matter of fact in the back of this book is like all of these chronic health problems that he has juice recipes for and everything from Hodgkin's disease, impotence, uh, influenza, laryngitis, leukemia, insanity, uh, epilepsy, you know, you name it, cancer, eczema, constipation, uh, there's conjunctivitis, inflammation of the eye, you know, it's in all of these recipes when you really start studying this book they have a lot of similarities and it's greens a lot of greens and uh, certain specific ones for certain ailments but um, yeah guys so that is the answer to that question so um, I hope I answered your question and uh, so that's why I don't eat normal because normal is sick in my book you know that's um, uh, when I went to the uh, when I was going to the doctor for uh, heavy menstrual problems you know it's normal to have heavy menstrual problems but guys that's not normal that's really not normal and it's not okay 
is not really what you need. So I'm going to go ahead and juice this recipe up and we'll do a taste test and then I'm going to share with you uh, the rest of my meal. Okay guys, here we have it. It is really red. I have not tasted it yet. But let's do a taste test. Oh, I'm so tired today. I'm sorry. I'm just not my chipper self. This is amazing. This is a really perfect recipe. And as you can see, there's probably about two cups in this. It's not a big full glass. So, um, you know, this is fine. I might drink a little bit more later. So, um, that's an A plus, a, a double double Dutch plus recipe. If you want to try this one, um, it's delicious. So, um, so back to this, um, you know, issue of being normal and so forth and eating a normal diet, um, you know. I don't want to be normal. I don't want to be like everybody else. And unfortunately, I can just look around at people and see how they're all normal and they're eating normal, what it's doing uh, to the body. And, uh, you know, it's just really not a good situation. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, ask me questions down below. I would love to hear uh, your questions. They really mean a lot to me. And, um, you know, I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.